Hello everybody. Okay, so let's have a look at a possible solution for our rhombus challenge. Now the challenge for those of you that need a quick reminder is that you basically need to code a rhombus. And we have the attributes of the rhombus here to help you with this. So we said that a rhombus basically looks like a diamond. And a rhombus is a flat shape with four equal straight sides. All the sides are equal. The sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees. And the opposite angles are also equal. So using that, let's code a rhombus quickly. But before we actually start with the coding, let's do a couple of calculations first. And I'm going to show you what I mean. And this is actually going to be pretty much the same thing as what we did with our triangles. So we said that all the sides are equal. That is easy enough. The sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees and the opposite angles are equal. So let's have a look at this rhombus over here. And let's look at the smaller angles over here. So let's say we want these angles to be both 45 degrees. Because remember, the opposite angles are equal. And this is what we call our, can you remember what it is called? It's called the acute angles because they are smaller than 90 degrees. So let's say we want our rhombus to be 45 degrees and 45 degrees on these two angles. So if I were to grab a calculator quickly, that is two angles of 45 degrees times two, that gives us 90 degrees. So if we go and do a quick calculation, remember we said that the interior of our uh, rhombus, all of the angles calculated together or added together should be 360 degrees. So 360 degrees minus 90 equals 270. Okay, so now we have two angles left and the sum total must be 270 degrees. So to calculate those two angles, it's as easy as taking 270 degrees and divide that by 2, like so. And we can grab our trusty calculator for that if you want. So it's 270 divided by 2, and that gives us 135 degrees each. So that's 135 degrees. So if you go and add this up just to make sure... We said it's 135 degrees times 2 for the two bigger angles. That's 270 degrees plus 90 degrees for the two smaller degrees. And that gives us 360 degrees. So now we know what our angles are supposed to be. If we can just do this. Okay, so we said our smaller, our acute angles are supposed to be 45 degrees each. And so these angles over here are going to be 135 degrees each. So now we can go and code our rhombus. Okay, and I've already opened up a Python shell and I've opened up our Pete the Turtle module over here, like so. So let's start coding our rhombus. Now remember that the four sides are equal. So that's going to make it quite easy as well. So we're going to start drawing our side. So let's make it 200 steps like that. Okay. So now let's make uh, the bigger angles first. Now remember we said that it's going to be 135 degrees. But we can't, just like we did with the triangles, we cannot tell our a turtle to turn 135 degrees because that is not going to be the right angle. So because we are measuring our angle from this side over here, so we need a little bit of extra calculations. We have to take 180 degrees and deduct our 135 degrees like that. And that gives us 45 degrees. And that is the amount of degrees that Peter Turtle needs to turn. Okay, so let's make Pete turn left 45 degrees like that. And that looks just about right. 
and then we go forward with our next sli uh, side again 200 because remember all of the sides are equal okay so now we need the acute angle over here and we said it's going to be 45 degrees but once again we can't make the turtle turn 45 degrees because then it's going to go up over here we have to measure our degrees from the other side from this line over here which means once again we have to take 180 degrees and we have to deduct our 45 degrees and that's 30 135 degrees and that's the amount of degrees that Peter Turtle needs to turn so let's do that like so okay so that actually looks quite awesome Okay, and again, remember that our sides needs to be equal, so we're going to make him go forward the same as with the other steps, so we're going to go forward 200 steps like that. Okay, and now we need him to turn the same as he did with the opposite sides over here. So we can go and have a look at what we did, and we said that Pete needed to turn left 45 degrees for that. So we can just go and do that again. Like so. And then we draw in our last slide. Like that. And there is a perfect example of a rhombus. So if we go back to our challenge sheet like that let me just get rid of this we see that all the sides are equal the sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees and the opposite angles are equal and that is exactly what we did with this rhombus over here and that is how you code a rhombus in python so if there's any questions please do not hesitate to ask me um, if you are unclear about some of these calculations, then once again, please ask. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through some of these calculations again with you guys. So for that, I'm just going to reset everything like that. Like so. And that one calculation that I find most people um, get tripped up on is to calculate these angles over here. It's quite easy to, if you decide, okay, these must be a certain amount of degrees to calculate them, but to get Pete, the turtle, or whatever you called your turtle, to uh, turn in the right amount of degrees um, is something of a trick because you have to take 180 degrees and deduct the amount of degrees that you actually want in this rhombus in this shape to get it to turn the right amount of degrees so let me show you quickly why we do it like that and this is exactly the same issue as we had with the triangles so i'm going to make pete go forward to 200 steps again like so and now we want him to turn so that this angle over here is 135 degrees but remember, we actually measure these degrees from the inside of the line to the outside. So, in effect, we need Pete to turn left 180 degrees, like that. So, look at what's happening to Pete when I enter this. He is now facing the complete other way. So, now we can actually use the amount of degrees that we have calculated because now Pete is measuring it from the inside out so now we can and we said that the big angle is 135 degrees we can make Pete turn right 135 degrees like that okay and now if you make Pete go forward like so that's going to be a 135 degree angle. Let's see what happens if we do not do that. And let's make Pete, let's just reset quickly. Like 
But I need to spell it correctly. Like that. Okay. So let's say we do not make him uh, turn 180 degrees like we did. Or calculate from 180 degrees even. So let's make him go forward. Like so. Oh my goodness, can't I spell forward? Like that. And we said 135 degrees, but let's see what happens if we make him just turn 135 degrees, like that. Now that angle is not what it's supposed to be. So if we can make him go forward again, let's just make it 100 steps. Our angle is not on 135 degrees, it's in fact 45 degrees, and that's not what we want for, for this angle. So that is why we go, and let me just reset this again. That is why we deduct the angle that we actually want from 180 degrees, because we are measuring it from basically the complete opposite side of what our turtle is facing and that is why we're doing this let's make him go forward again if i can spell forward just make, let's just make it 100 steps like that so that is why we now take 180 degrees and we deduct the amount of degrees that we actually want. And in this uh, instance, we want 135 degrees. So we're taking 180 minus 135, and that gives you 45, like so. So now it's showing in the right direction. And now if you go and draw your line, Did I spell it correctly this time? Yes, I did. Now you're getting 135 degrees. And that is why we are doing the calculation like we have. But once again, if there's any questions about this, please do not hesitate to ask. We are very responsive with regards to Q&As and questions, and we will definitely get back to you and help you out. So I will see you in the next lesson.